Hey everybody! Welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sappho, or Sap for short. I don't normally go by that, but it's just much easier just to um, use that. Uh, so anyway, that's why my channel is called Saf Stitched. And so I am American. I'm here living in the Bahamas. My husband is Bahamian, but uh, he grew up mainly in the States. So um, yeah, so I, that's where I met him in the States. And so and if you're interested in why we are actually now living here, um, I'll link my intro video. And uh, so yeah, so this video I have a wool warehouse haul to show you guys. And um, yeah, today I decided to record this indoors um, instead of when I normally am outside uh, because I just realized here in my room um, next to my husband's desk is actually pretty uh, nicely lit. So yeah, so I'm in here doing that. Uh, today so and um, oh and uh, yeah I just wanted to real quick afterwards um, share a little bit about this desk that uh, we have here and um, but anyway so yeah I'm gonna get on with the wool warehouse haul I was able to get this because I um, won from I actually won twice from Lisa Ladybird loves or Lisa at Ladybird loves. I will link her channel. And she, I, and then the one time I won was actually, it was actually not on her channel. The first time I won, it was at um, two OGs hooking and, uh, hookin and stitching island style with Antoinette. It was her, I think, potiversary. And that's where I won um, from, uh, won the prize that Lisa had donated and um wool warehouse and then the second time was at lisa's channel it was her uh loyalty or uh, ladybird loyalty lovelies it's uh where if you've been subscribed to her channel for more than i think two months she does a drawing every other month for all the all of her subscribers that have been subscribed for more than two months and have commented on her uh, on any of her videos um, that are not giveaway videos or um, some other video. It has to be a regular video where like it could be a review um, or any other uh, happy mail opening videos, any of those kind of videos, um, then you can get entered into that. So you can learn more about that on her channel. And so anyway, so I won, I think it was in November. So yeah, I've been saving up the the uh, the wool warehouse gift certificates that I won to wait until there was a good sale on what I wanted. And I finally um, took advantage of placing an order, especially too, while one of my friends from church was actually visiting Florida. So I had everything shipped to her and then she was able to bring it back, uh, bring it over back to me when she came home. So that way that saved me on extra shipping costs and uh, duty because I, how I get everything is by using a, a mail forwarder. So I have a US address, um, everything gets shipped to them and then they forward it here, they fly it in. And so I have to pay them to fly it in and then I have to pay duty charges so that's why um, I saved quite a bit on the cost of the, the shipping for the forwarder to ship it here then plus the duty so because it came in with my friend she gets a certain exemption on what she brings in um, in regards to um, customs and stuff like that so so I was able to save on a good amount of money because 40, uh, yarn here, the duty on that is 45%. So yeah, so I very, very thankful for um, my friend being there and bringing, being able to bring it all over back for me. So, yep. So here is the first bag of my haul. 
and then, and then the thing is it's all um, drops Paris cotton because um, I like to use cotton for stuffed toys and am amigurumi and for making bags and for clothing but th this haul is specifically everything that I the colors that I chose were for all um, amigurumis, amigurumis I have in mind to make so um, I wanted to get some uh, what is it called chenille yarn but wool warehouse doesn't have a very large selection as far as colors go so I decided not to get any of that and uh, just went strictly with all Paris drops so I will just read so Paris so this is Paris drops this is obviously a plain white and the specs on this is uh, 50 grams 100% cotton and uh, this for a 50 gram ball it gives 75 meters or 82 yards and this is a um, it's considered a four weight or an Aaron weight um, but I always think seems like any of the Aaron weight cottons they always to me always seem a little bit less like um, like even with the Hobby Lobby's I love this cotton um, they always seem to be a bit like you know three weight to, at least to me anyway uh, compare you know when, when I compare it to a four weight acrylic but um, and the softness on this is really is nice it's really nice I would say it is not as soft as Hobby Lobby's I love this cotton um, but definitely way better than Hobby Lobby's Craft or Secret or um, for sure better than sugar Lily's sugar and cream so to me this is like in between the softness is like in between Hobby Lobby's I love this cotton and um, uh, Craft or Secret cotton because um, Craft or Secret is better than Lily's sugar and cream uh, but uh, still not as not as good as I love this cotton and this is definitely better than craft or secret so um, or, or you know comparable it's um, like craft or secret is comparable to Joanne's big twist cotton so you know just just so you get an idea but um yeah so this is in between that so it's still really nice and soft and so of course so I got the white I got I have this um now I can't remember like they don't have the they don't have the name of this color on here it's just color number 26 and um, you know what hold on one second okay so I got my um, invoice and it has list all the colors on here and so that this was on sale for uh, what is it I think like 90 pence because obviously this is um, British pounds um, the prices so yeah it was on sale because now when I just checked it yesterday it's back up to like a pound and some change I can't remember exact the exact amount so I got up this all while I was on sale so that was perfect you know perfect timing for when my friend was there and when this, this was on sale so let me um, get back to let's see the colors real quick this is so this one is like a, you know, a, a, a darker beige. Uh, I can't really tell too much. Uh, the lighting is a little bit. So 20, this is color 26 and it is called a dark beige actually. So this one is called a dark beige. And then I also have a, yeah, so here you can tell the difference now. So this is a light one. This one is color 67. And that is it this one this one is called the lighter one is called wheat so they call this one wheat so I turn and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why I got these colors so the beige these two different I think I didn't actually have anything in mind in particular for this one I think I wanted this for maybe or this one for 
no i can't remember now i thought i was thinking maybe dolls or actually if i was going to make some gnomes i think i would need i'll probably actually use this one for the nose or i don't know i actually forgot i should have gotten like a peach type color for like a light skin tone um but now i'm can't now i'm thinking i can't really remember what i what i got the wheats for maybe as i go through the other colors then it'll come back to me so so that's the third color i got here then i have this blue really pretty blue this one is color number nine royal blue so royal blue for that and this one is this one i got along with let me just put this here on the table make it a lot easier so this one this one along with this and i got so the white and i also got black so and then also i think i needed I needed the gray so for these four colors I am can you guys guess what kind of toy I'm gonna make with that it's a minion I've been wanting to make a minion for a long time so I finally had the colors this is wasn't quite the blue that I was looking for because from the pictures I've looked at of minions it's more it's supposed to be more of like a denim jean color and I couldn't quite find that in the um, at Wool Warehouse. The selection for the blues didn't quite have that. So I went with this royal blue and then this yellow too. I think I was I should have gotten a lighter yellow, but um, but I guess because of the brightness of this blue, then I guess then this yellow kind of would go with it. Um, and so actually this yellow one is color 14 and it is called dandelion so so there's that and also what else okay and then in this bag the last one in this bag is this like purple or lavender color number 31 it is called medium purple so this one and this one color 5 which is called lilac so here they call this the medium purple and this is lilac so this and this plus the greens that I have this green they call it opal green so I want to make some I want to crochet some lavender flowers out of this and so like two different colors of the purple for the lavender flowers and then the green for the leaves and the stems and then also have this red number seven it's called cherry but um i guess for some reason i didn't look closely enough but i think this red is is fine is um i was trying to get i was i think i don't know why i chose this but i'm like thinking i really wanted a, a brighter red but um this one is a bit more of a slightly muted red and um but they call this one a cherry so so this one is also for flowers so along with green like i'm not sure what kind of flower i was going to make with this one but i wanted some red flowers as well and i guess if i have enough of the yellow after making minions then i will make some uh flowers with that color as well um oh now i now i remember the why i wanted the beige the two beiges i wanted to make a sunflower so yeah so sunflowers so i think then yeah that's what i'll be making with the yellow as well and and i got this wasabi i remember this one is color number 39 and they call it wasabi and 
and I wanted this for some more of Baby Yoda or Grogu. Um, not quite the same color that I have for the original Grogu, um, if you saw my last video where I showed my finished Grogu. The color one I used for that was a big twist and it was like, I think, it was more like a sage green color. So um, this one is a little bit brighter, but I think this will work fine too, but obviously you'll notice a huge difference if um, if I put the two side aside. If, like if I, once I finish this other Grogu with this color and I put them with the other one that I made with the sage green, you know, you'll notice the difference. But so anyway, so I got this along with the beige. So I hopefully I have enough for sunflowers and for more of Grogu. But um, yeah, so then I got that one. And, that, and that's it. I think that's all the colors I got. So, I mean, I got, I got two bag, two bagfuls of it. I spent, um, my, my gift certificate was 45 pounds and I had to pay extra, um, just slightly. I had to pay a couple of more pounds because, um, I try to whittle it down to have everything include, you know, everything I buy plus the shipping be within the 45 pounds but I couldn't quite make it there were some um, colors that I, I really had to have and since I was already ordering from them I just figured oh well why not spend a couple more dollars um, and get what I wanted um, so yeah so I got you know so two two full two full bags of course I took already took some out but two full bags of these all Paris drops and so and um, so yeah, and all the things that I had in mind for these colors, um, and so excited to get started with these. And I actually might, I don't know, I have to figure out if I have enough colors, if I'll have enough, because there's a gnome that I have, um, that I really want to make, and I gotta see what, if I can make it work with what I have, and still be able to make what I originally bought these for. So we'll see, but um, yeah, so that's my wool warehouse haul. Very excited, my very first one. Really like, I really like um, the uh, the bag that it comes into this, uh, oh, I, what do you call this? I forgot what it's called now. This um, organza bag. So yeah, I really like that, it, that they sent it to you in this bag. And two, that was another thing I was worried about. If I was to have it shipped to my package forwarder, um, that I, that, that that's why too I was really glad to have it come to me through my friend, because if it goes through the package forwarder, I was I would have been concerned that when they open the package that they would slit that they would slice this bag in the process because I had a um, last year a friend of mine Pam of Be Creative Crafts sent me some of the yarn that I that she purchased for me at last year's Hobby Lobby's clearance haul and um, she sent it to, she sent it in a vacuum sealed uh, bag within like a pri priority mailbox and it got to me with the vacuum sealed bag sliced open so yeah Oh, and actually, let me go ahead and share with you my Hobby Lobby clearance haul that Pam, again, it also did for me and shopped for me this year. I do not have it in my hand, so I will just put up, put up some pictures. Okay, here's the banana blanket and tie dye -ish. Uh There are three colors available. These were the two that I chose, even though blue was my favorite. The blue just didn't really appeal to me. And then here is Cozy with the twist. Only one color colorway available, so um, that's what I got. And I chose five skeins, and I thought that should be enough to make several plushies or one large one. And then here we have the soft and sleek. They did not, unfortunately, have the neon stripe type um, colorway. I wanted that for to try making a color pooling project. But, um, so I got the light blue and the dark blue, and then these three hanks, um, really pretty jewel colors, jewel tone colors, and, um, 
Pam had to go back for the third Hank, the red one, because they only had the blue. And then so I asked her for one more. And then here is the cotton and the comb. I can always do, do with white. And then the three rainbow rapsies and these three colorways. And I think my favorite is the black and white. Um, although the other ones are really nice too, but I'll probably be making either tops or shawls with them. And so that's my haul. That is all that she has um, purchased for me. I gave her a budget, told her the ones I really wanted, and she showed me while she was there, or um, you know, she sent me photos of what was available and asked if I wanted it, and then so she and then she got it for me. So I just now need to um, send her the funds to have it have her ship it to me here. So I'm excited to get some get my hands on the especially the blanket yarn and the other plush the other chenille yarn um, uh, because I, I'm really definitely enjoying working with those who are making plushies and um, yeah it's just a matter of getting a hang of, of using that yarn and uh, feeling the stitches you know and having really good lighting so that you can see see what you're doing and uh, yeah so just for a second, let me show you our kitty. Say hi. This one is Ko'o and Latu. The last, my last um, video, I never told you what their names are. Um, my girls named them, and um, we don't, we're only keeping two. But this one is Chestnut. Yeah. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. You see you? You see yourself? So this is Chestnut. And then, oh no, actually, sorry. This is Hazel. This is Hazel. Um, we tell them apart by, um, see, Hazel has these, what, what to us look like little eyebrows on her face. And so that's Hazel. And then we have um, Chestnut is another girl. There's another one. So Hazelnut and Chestnut are the girls. And then the boy that we have is Walnut. <laughs> Get the theme. <laughs> really cute so chestnut is being adopted and we're keeping hazelnut and walnut the boy so yeah it's amazing their personalities are so different um, walnut is very chill he's not very loud um, except for when he really wants your attention like if you have him if you have your door closed and he wants to come in he will get loud so but otherwise, other than that, he, he's very chill and he has such a cute, soft meow. But the other two are quite loud. And, uh, but yeah, but yeah, they're, they're definitely their personalities are so different. Chestnut, the one who's being adopted, she's very affectionate. Um, she likes to sleep in my lap. Um, Hazelnut does too, uh, but not as affectionate as Chestnut. So anyway, um, now my girls want to keep Chestnut instead of Hazelnut. But we already promised uh, the lady chestnut. So before I go, I forgot I wanted to share. I didn't, didn't share this last time, but um, my last video. But this desk that we have here, it's like a little two level desk. You can't see the, the bottom level. Um, and this one, the bottom level right here, it actually can raise up and um, it can raise up. I think for this one, Actually, I think I think this one can even go up higher as well so both this section this little upper level and the, the main level they both can be raised up and and then they both can be level so it comes in really handy we actually needed that we were doing something and um, we needed to uh, cut some things that we had printed out some papers for an event we were doing and um, it really helped to have this table raised up to for us to the standing height and to be able to use our paper cutter and cut it but um anyway so about this desk we just recently got it i think a month a month ago um because i won i pro i won this really i i won this gift card i won a 500 hundred dollar gift card um and here you know bahamian money is um pretty much dollar to dollar for the US dollar it is um, if I make a purchase on Amazon there is a slight 
um, exchange rate, but it's very, very minimal. So like if I was to make a $50 purchase, uh, it, it would actually convert to like maybe mm, $52 Bahamian dollars or like maybe even 51, 52 Bahamian dollars. So it's, it's, it's very small, but, um, but there is still an exchange rate, but, but, but if you come in here with a US dollar, it's pretty, and you, because you can, you can actually use the US dollar here. Uh, um, all the stores and everything, you accept US dollars. And then, um, so obviously then if you need US dollars change back, then you need them, you'll have to make sure you, you ask them for that. Otherwise, um, they will give you whatever they have and it could be Bahamian dollars. And uh, so, yeah, but anyway, I won a $500 gift card to a store here called John Bull and John Bull has two actually two separate stores one of them is called a business John Bull business center where they have like office supplies and things like that and then all the other John Bull stores are more like jewelry stores and they sell perfume jewelry watches um, makeup and things like that so so $500 my husband kind of immediately like well I want I really been wanting a desk so so we went to John bought John Bull the business center picked out a desk and um, and a chair uh, with enough left over for me to get some jewelry from the other John Bull store and uh, so he, he got the chair and the desk the chair oh, it, it's crazy to um, the cheapest chair they had was like over a hundred dollars and um and really it really is cheap and i mean like i definitely would not uh, pay that much for a cheaply made chair but of course you know it, it was essentially free money you know i won this gift card and um we had to make do with what they had as far as chairs goes you know the selection but um it is so cheaply made that you know when he leaned over too much in a certain direction like the legs broke the legs are plastic and they're on wheels but they broke and um so and so now we kind of had to finagle it and he's like he, he has the part where it's broken he has it leaning on a piece of wood <laughs> so anyway um but but this desk is really is really good it's pretty good and um so there was enough left over for me to get some jewelry. I think a little, little bit over a hundred dollars, maybe like a hundred dollars, oh, a hundred and fifty dollars left on a gift card for me to get something from that um, because I was definitely, I entered the contest and I won the prize, and I definitely wanted to get something for myself. So, um, so here is the first one that I got, and it is a Pandora. Uh, let me see if I can make it so that you can see it hopefully I don't know if it'll focus for you but it is like a rose gold um, rose gold and it has um, gosh it won't focus come on now let me see Uh, awesome. That's a bummer. Okay, my iPhone will not focus on this, but it, so basically, you know, as you can see, it's circular and um, it has these little, I'm sure, cubic zirconia or whatever, fake diamonds in it. Um, but this was, this one was, was the more expensive one. Um, oops. This was the more expensive one. So it dangles like that. And um, this was, I think, $110. So, and then the other one that I got is just a plain, simple, and I think this was sterling silver. Whoops. <laughs> sterling silver dangling earring. So this one was 20, 20 something, I think. But yeah, and so I like, so this is like the perfect size for me. I prefer the smaller dangling earrings. I'm not one of the big hoop, hoop earring type girls. And um, 
but so yeah so and um they've there are they have been some new contests that i just entered hopefully will win um for these other contests that i entered here um for those of that don't already know i've mentioned this probably in a video way back when but um i was an avid contest or sweepstake enterer um when, when i lived in the states and i won i've won bunches of things and um here they don't have that as uh, as much and here you have to make a purchase in order to get entered whereas in the states um by law you you do not have to make a pot or purchase to enter any sweepstakes but here you do you do so um yeah and so anyway there have been two more contests here recently and i had to make a purchase for ragu pasta sauce and then the other one was like hellman's and nor sides products and so um so those are the things i can use so went ahead and like hey if i'm gonna you know those are things i can already use anyway then might as well take advantage of it make the purchase that i needed to make and get entered into the contest and both of these are for our cash prizes and so yeah hoping to get another call and say that we won but yeah so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed my haul and i will then uh, see you next time and um, and so have a great day god bless see you guys bye